Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. This week we're going to look at the dollar yen, namely the US dollar against the Japanese yen. And the reason being, we've just had some interesting comments from the Japanese Prime Minister Abe, and there's an interesting technical chart set up with some key price levels that we want to examine. Now we're coming off the back of a 10-week run in the US dollar uh, against a broad section of currencies and one of the weakest of which has been the Japanese yen which is pushing into recently six-year highs. Now that was a, a preference for the Japanese government. In fact part of their policy has been to weaken the Japanese yen through a quantitative easing program similar to that done in the US um, in order to boost their exporters, Sony and Toyota and the like, just to, to boost the Japanese economy. Uh, but it does appear based on recent statements that perhaps the Japanese yen is getting a bit too weak, or if not too weak, perhaps weakening just a bit too quickly, as this latest rally has been essentially parabolic. Now, what the Japanese Prime Minister has come and said is that uh, he will be monitoring the weakness of the Japanese yen in case it has some adverse effect on some of the Japanese regions. So that could be taken as a slight uncomfort from the Japanese government. So when you combine that with the flip side of the coin, in that uh, in the US, at the latest Federal Reserve meeting, they've said that um, uh, essentially they'll be keeping the, the uh, interest rates close to zero for a considerable time. This is the key statement they've been leaving in their uh, central bank statements. So there's been a slight change. This 10-week run in the US dollar was based on an interest rate hike imminently occurring in the US. The Federal Reserve have set expectations back a bit, saying that they were going to leave rates low for a considerable period of, period of time. Uh, whereas in Japan, what was a policy to weaken the yen has kind of pulled back a bit. So let's have a look at the chart and see why these price levels might coincide with these fundamental events. So what we have here is a weekly candlestick chart for the dollar yen. Now you can see there have been a couple of triangle type formations with a rising trend line having touched multiple long term swing lows. Now what I've done here is use the Fibonacci extension indicator in the CMC markets next generation platform to project the height of these triangle patterns into the future from the breakout point to give us a, a future target. Now what you can see is that from the first triangle breakout, the, the subsequent top in the price coincided with a 61.8% extension of that first triangle height. Then we saw a correction. Um, now what's happened since is we formed a, another triangle as mentioned. That breakout um, rallied straight up, saw a slight pause at its 61.8%. And now what we're running into is the first triangle's 100% extension of its height. Uh, and that coincides with the, the 109 round number, as well as the May 2006 uh, large low, which coincided with a massive reversal that month. So it's either going to be a, a matter of here or if we do see a run higher, potentially this 110.67, which was the August 2008 high, which had a large bearish reversal in that month, uh, coinciding with the 100% extension of that second triangle, could be an area of resistance should we get through here. But there is some pretty stiff resistance coming up, and this move is looking pretty overextended. So this latest set of news is a risk to the dollar yen, and we, we could see a pullback here. Right, thanks for watching this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot. We were talking about the dollar yen. Keep an eye on these Fibonacci extension pattern extension price levels, but also see how this Japanese government and the Federal Reserve in the US are reacting to uh, the way the dollar and the Japanese yen are moving.